Once upon a time, in a charming little village nestled amidst rolling hills and lush greenery, there lived a young girl named Lily. She was known far and wide for her kind heart and unwavering compassion. Lily's family, however, was not wealthy. In fact, they were one of the poorest families in the village. Despite their struggles, Lily had a remarkable spirit that radiated hope and positivity. Lily's favorite story was the tale of Cinderella. She would often sit by the fire, her eyes filled with wonder, as her grandmother recounted the magical story of Cinderella and her enchanted slippers. Lily would dream of a fairy godmother who would transform her life just as magically. She longed for a fairy godmother to appear one day and whisk her away from her humble life to a world of grandeur and riches. But deep down, she knew that such things only happened in fairy tales, and that real life was often very different. One sunny morning, while wandering through the woods on her way to collect firewood, Lily encountered an old woman sitting beneath the towering oak tree. The woman's wrinkled face and tattered clothing spoke of her age and hardship. She appeared tired, hungry, and in need of help. Moved by her compassionate nature, Lily approached the woman. Hello, ma'am, she said with a warm smile. Are you okay? You seem tired and hungry. Would you like some food and water? The old woman looked up, her eyes filling with gratitude. Oh, my dear, you have a heart of gold. I've been wandering for days, and I have nothing to eat. Lily quickly shared her meager provisions with the old woman. She gave her some bread, cheese, and a canteen of fresh water. She even offered her own warm blanket to keep the woman comfortable. Tears welled up in the old woman's eyes as she gratefully accepted Lily's offerings. You are a true angel, my child, she said, her voice quivering with emotion. I may be old but I still have some magic left in me. I would like to grant you one wish for your incredible kindness. What is it that you desire most? Lily's eyes widened in astonishment. She thought about the magical stories her grandmother had told her, where fairy godmothers appeared to grant wishes. She remembered the enchanting glass slippers that transformed Cinderella's life. But then she looked at the old woman, who had been suffering and hungry, and she thought about what she could do with this wish. Taking a deep breath, Lily said, I wish for the ability to make the world a better place through my own actions. The old woman smiled, her eyes twinkling with a newfound warmth. You have made a selfless and noble choice, Lily. Your wish is granted. With those words, the old woman began to shimmer with a soft, radiant light. Lily watched in awe as the light enveloped her, and in an instant, she had disappeared. Suddenly Lily woke up and realized it was a dream. From that day onward, Lily was determined to make the world a better place, not through magic slippers or fairy godmothers, but through her own actions. She returned to her village with a newfound purpose, ready to bring about positive change. Lily started by planting trees in the village square believing that a greener environment would improve the quality of life for everyone. She spent hours every day caring for the saplings, watering them and ensuring they received plenty of sunlight. Soon, the village square was transformed into a beautiful garden and the air was filled with the sweet fragrance of blossoming flowers and trees. Lily's kindness and dedication inspired others in the village to join her. They, too, began planting trees and tending to the garden, Neighbors started talking to each other more, sharing stories and forming stronger bonds. But Lily's mission extended beyond the garden. She recognized that her family and others in the village were still struggling with poverty. She started a community garden where villagers could grow their own fruits and vegetables. Lily was also a source of solace for those in need. When her neighbor, Mrs. Johnson, fell ill, Lily cared for her tirelessly. She cooked nourishing meals, cleaned her home, and provided emotional support. Her selflessness shone brightly during those difficult days, and she showed that kindness could heal just as well as medicine. One sunny afternoon, a group of children from the village gathered around Lily in the garden. 
They looked up to her with admiration and curiosity, and one of the children asked, Lily, how did you become so kind and caring? How do you do all these wonderful things? Lily smiled at the young faces before her. She realized that her mission had to extend beyond her actions, she needed to inspire the next generation to carry on the spirit of kindness. She told the children about the old woman in the woods and her dreams. Remember, she said, we don't need magic slippers to change our lives or the world. We have the power to make a difference through our own actions and choices. Kindness, compassion, and a desire to help others can transform our lives and the lives of those around us. She had transformed her own life and the lives of those in her village. She had become a real-life fairy godmother, not through magic slippers, but through her own unwavering kindness and determination.